Sakal Bhakti means every moment my senses, my body, my mind is surrendered for my Ishtadev and I have to follow the words of navigator to do all the time in that direction my activities. Translate. Chitta huh? Yeah. Chitta has to act, not my... Manavriti. Yeah. Because Manavriti has many circumstances created. So my mind jump and then again start working on that. We care for the cable of bhakti means one point in this. Good. Kalia? Translation is going on. Yeah. Uh, Priya, could, could you kindly do the Spanish translation? We have some Spanish speaking devotees also here. Yeah. Prema Bhak. Prema. 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 Talk with Prema. I will give the class on Monday. Say to her. She's yes, Radhe Radhe. Radhe Radhe. Thank you. Good I, will give, I will give class. Yes. Monday morning to you. But. Oh, Bhagavat Amrita. Thank you, Guru Bhagavat Amrita is important. Say to stay there. Yes. 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 Bhagavat Amrita is important. Dice. Hola. Rade rade. Hola. Prima. Pues, Prima. Eh, Bhagavat Amrita is important. Dice. Guru Deva. Entonces lo hacemos el lunes. Translation, Pero, translation. A las siete de la mañana. Ok, sí, okay. yo, pues él sabe, él sabe que tiene las traducciones, pero si no, también le dije a Yasoda que lo hiciera. He knows that he has to translate, but if not, he cannot, then Yasoda will translate. Ok. Está bien, Remita. Es video. Vidi. Él está ocupado. Está ocupado. Pero te prima, entiendo prima, mucho prima. a ti, madre. Escúchame, prima. Entra ahora en el en el en el en el en la habitación de la traducción española, por favor. Ya la tengo. Sí. Pero, pero ahora no estás ahí. Porque Priya va a venir. No, ella está, ahí está. Sí. Sí. Priya traduce muy bien. Vale. <laughs> Gracias. Gracias. <laughs> Ah, yes, start. So we are reading. We are reading Shishivilaka Kusumanjali. Verse number 68. Mm. Mm. Oh, my dear friend, Rupa Manjari. Mm, what again? Oh, my dear friend, Ru Rupa Manjari. <laughs> mm. 
You too. Mm. All right. Mm. When can I walk behind you? When you lovingly take wide-eyed goddess Radhika, who is moved by waves of desire, to the play punja that is decorated by Sri Hari as she holds her wine like arms with yours. Mm. Mm. Sri Radha. Mm. Oh, my dear friend. Rupa Manjari. What is the relation in between Guru and Sishya? You know, relation is like a friend. <clears throat> that is Kevalabha. Friendship, not adoring. Like a one navigator in your car. What you do? You have to friendly to follow his instruction. <laughs> You adore, but not follow the instruction. <laughs> what will happen? We adore, but we not make friendly. When he give instruction, we deny to follow. Because I adore him. I don't know about the phone and this, right? Too much. One email come. I see this bank email and this, that. I say, send to Prashant or Raja. Gopina send it. Although he know that they send me. I say, you say I send it? I say, who send me? They send me and I send again back to him. Why he do? Because he follow what I say. I was so happy from inside, and I said, I'm a fool, but why he do the foolish thing when he sent? Why he sent to this? Then I think, no, no, no. He follow what I say, he do that. So he's my real friend. He no adore me. He's a friend. That what I say, he do it. Understand? I adore, but I not follow. <clears throat> he says, turn left, I turn right. Because my, some manobritti will complete. I will take one cup of coffee because there is a good coffee shop. Then I will take some snacks. So this is not to make a friend. I adoring, I have, I have a 
good guide, navigator, but I adore, but I don't follow it. But here, say, Raghunath Goswami, oh my dear friend Rupa Manjari, oh my Gurudev, my friend, I want to follow you. What read? Oh, my dear friend, Rupa Manjari. Rupa, I want to do like you. Understand or not? Mind accepting? Yeah, friend, be friend, yeah, very important thing, forget adoring, you adore Krishna, never get it, make sun, you no need to adore Krishna even. Take the shelter of Radhika, you no need to adore him. You will say he's a cowboy. Adoring, you cannot get it in 20 years. Make a relation with him. Friendship is your relation. The day you will develop relation, you have to say, friend, my child, my lover. Right or not? Go on. When can I walk behind you? And I want to walk behind you. I don't want to walk. <laughs> in front of you. That is Kevala Bhakti. Understand Kevala Bhakti? Yes, Gurudev. Yeah. Behind you. When can I walk behind you? When you lovingly take wide-eyed goddess Radhika who is moved by waves of desire. She has a desire. Oh. My history, Radhika has a desire. You follow that way. What is her desire? I want to follow that. I want to see that desire of her. If I have a desire, I cannot follow for her desire. Somebody is translating Italian or not? Mm -hmm. Somebody translate Italian? There is nobody here to be. They are working tomorrow. Will be there. Okay. Nobody will be there. My God. Okay. How does that? Anyone can translate for them? Somebody knows Italian? Kalende, can you do this? Yeah. So, 
desire, her desire. When my desire will be always with me, then I cannot follow her desire. If I have a desire, how, why I will follow my navigator desire? Why I will follow the desire of Radhika? No, I have no desire. I have to follow to my friend Rupa, my Gurudev, my navigator of the desire of my Swamini. I will follow that because I know her desire. Only one pointed, one desire to meet with his lover, Krishna. I was waiting to see from long time, but by adoring, I never can see this. But now, today is a chance to see from Swami to his lover, because lover has to come to fulfill the desire of my Swami, because she is one-pointed thinking for Krishna. Understand? Understand or not? <coughs> my friend, what is the name who is singing Radhe Radhe? Lokesh. Huh? Lokesh. Lokesh Baba, you understand? Yes, good. I, I feel it. You understand. Good. Go on. When can I walk behind you? When will day will come that I will walk behind my friend navigator to reach to the goal of my Swami and full of desires he is. And that desire I have many times, but I cannot fulfill it. But today, there is a chance and hope to fulfill that. Understand? That way to see. Go on. When you lovingly take wide-eyed goddess Radhika, who is moved by waves of desire. Waves of desire. She is moving her, her every step, every action is moving for one pointedness. How to make happy to my lover. And his lover is a Krishna. And this was a long time waiting to see that adoring by adoring, but I am not so successful through the Bhadi Bhakti. Now, with taking the right way, I will fulfill this desire. Go on, yeah. To the play, grow. That is decorated by Sri Hari. And this, the punja today is decorated by whom? All life I adore. He makes the decoration of that punja himself with his own hand to welcome my Swami. Huh? Understand? 
Ya. Uh -huh. As she holds her wine like arm with yours. Wow. Shira Raguna Das Goswami now arrives at the description of Shri Shri Radha Krishna's midday pastimes. Shri Raguna Das state of divine madness simply increases because of the intense pain of love and separation that he feels. When there is a love, then you feel separation. If you have no love, how you will know the separation, the value of separation? Hmm. Yes, Kishori? Hmm. Is a good luck for you. Midday pastimes is in Radha Kunda. Midday time Radha Kunda is a midday pastime. In daytime. Yeah. But nobody can see this. Only the manjari can see and understand that. Who not become manjari, they cannot feel it and understand it. Who has no friend, his guru, he will never understand. Or he no follow his guru, he will never understand. Like a friendly, he has to follow not adoringly follow. Right, Govinda, pray, Govinda Prem, before you not accept to follow because you don't like to adore it. Yes, Gurudev, very clear. And they means I have to listen to the navigator. Then I'm a friend. Then my life will become more easy to drive and reach faster. Right? Go on. His Swarupa Vesh is his only support. Ah, what is my support? My spiritual body is my support. Material body is not supporting me. That blocking me and my nature to live in material body more, then is not supporting me. What is my support? My sarup, my spiritual form is my support. Understand, my dear? My support is my constitutional position.
Yeah. Go on. His swarup aversion is his only support. Ah, only support. That is Kevala Bhakti. Friendly. Always behave like a friendly. Only support. In it, he can relish Swami's form, qualities, and past. Yeah. In Sarup ways, we can feel his form. I can see also his quality. What quality which he has and his past life. That Prabhupada write in Bhagavad Gita, my constitutional position. Constitutional position. Sarupa, Sarupa Siddhi. Bhagavad Gita, page four, introduction. See this. Because to be in constitutional position, coming in that position, that is the endeavor. I have to do, and nobody wants to do that endeavor to come out from the condition of my senses, body, and false ego. Nobody wants to endeavor for that. We want to be follow by keeping all these activities. We don't want to endeavor for that. Understand? So, my constitutional position is oh, not... No. Understand? Not In it, he can relish Swamini's form, qualities, and pastimes. Because of his divine madness of love, he is unable to find words to express his experiences. He has no word to explain you, only his quality. His form will show you how she is feeling. And that, for that, we need our constitutional position. Our madness for meeting to his lover, how she is mad. If you have a desire to see, you have to come in your constitutional more position 
to feel it because he has no word to explain that. He, that is only feeling. <coughs> feel it. See, without seeing, how you will feel it. So this is the beautiful chance to see and feel. But condition is your constitutional position. You are not material body. Who is near to Govinda Prem? Mataji. No, yes, I am here today. Huh? Yeah. I, I don't understand your, your question. No, I don't ask you. I'm asking to go for now. There's Kevala Bhakti and then there's Vivek Puri. Because now, Kevala Bhakti is for me a, a Bhajana Kriya. Yes. Right. 24-7. Beautiful. So good. Gurudev, can I say something? Yes, sir. I, by your grace, I have found uh, a very good medicine for my uh, ping pong melody. It is a prayer, and uh, if you allow, I will pronounce it now. Yeah. So oh. it it is my de my my dear Gurudev. Please grant me one drop from your deep kunda of lovingly feelings for Radharani, so that I may uh, serve her also in my identification of her kinkery. Yeah. Sorry for my bad English. No, beautiful, beautiful, best. I'm proud of you. Write me. That's you are your, inspiring your mercy, me Guru. to meditate this. For me, you are inspiring me to do that. I'm proud of you. Write me and send to all. All Yeah. Send to me, sure. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You read. Whatever he could bring under words, he has revealed <clears throat> in ah. this Vilapa Kusumanjali. Yeah. Srimati Radhika will surely come to console he who is weeping over her and for whom she is everything and take him to her lotus feet. <clears throat> who can be as merciful as she is? Yeah. One of the 108 names Shilaraguna Dasa gives her is Karuna Karuna Vidravadveha. She whose body melts out of compassion. Wow. Normally, 
only a person's heart melts out of compassion. But Srimati makes her whole body melt. This is unheard of before. Sri Krishna will not give his mercy to one who does not worship him. Oh. He has said that himself in Bhagavad Gita. Ye yatha mam prapadyante tam sathaiva bhajami aham. Mm. But Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives prema even if he is rejected or insulted. Wow. He has become so merciful because he has accepted Swaminiji's mood. Yeah. <coughs> Then it may be asked, but it is said in Lagu Bhagavatam Rita, there may be many dissensions of the lotus navelled Vishnu that are blessed in all respects. But who else but Krishna? bestows love on even the vines and other inert creatures. But Krishna acts like that only with the people of Raja when he is Radhika's heart's Mm -hmm. But Krishna acts like that only with the people of Vraja because in Vraja he is Radhika's heart's friend. Understand or not? Nothing. Only the people of Baja can feel it. That every tree and every leaf and every plant has a vibration of love. Oh, Baja. Why Baja? Because Radhika is the goddess of love and this understanding only comes when we come to Vrindavan and we understand this love of Radhika is coming to the, all the creation of the Krishna. She is the source to give the love from all the creation to make happy to Krishna, his lover. And then we go from Vrindavan, we see every place like that. Then every town and city become like a Vrindavan. There is no Ashtarya Bhava in the no. world. Say, Gopinath will explain something. No, just Please tell, talk, talk something here. You also give your feeling. No, I was just uh, 
saying to in uh, the braj lila there is no aishwarya bhav there is no awe and reverence that's why this uh, lila is so special i was reading also that in uh, even in gor lila there is awe and reverence like haridas thakur he cannot go into the to see mahaprabhu he cannot touch him so also sanatan goswami sometimes is in reverence to mahaprabhu but not in braj in braj we are as guru dev said beautifully we are friends we are equal like tulsi manjuri is calling rupa manjuri her friend so that means that intimacy that friendship only can be in braj lila yeah positive friends positive madhukarji अरे भाई नहीं है आ जा आ जा अच्छा ना नीचे में आया कोई बात नहीं ये ये सी दो आ भी भाई <clears throat> he becomes so luscious and sweet when he gets the love of prema mai raga yeah. and then with his nectarian form and flute song he infused love of god even in the trees mm. wines animals birds stones and clouds love for the god love for the krishna one lover is important to love to krishna love for the god love for krishna so one is lover and one is a ralisha krishna is not a lover He is relish that love and love coming from Radhika through that tree. Read, boy. Trees, wines, animals, birds, stones, and clouds. And he relish that. understand mm-hmm. like a krishna concert krishna not become krishna no need to be conscious one person has to be conscious with krishna and then <laughs> what is meaning of krishna consciousness Krishna has to be conscious with himself. Are I have to be conscious with Krishna? That is Krishna consciousness. <laughs> One has to be lover to give this love to him that he can relish this, right? That is the beauty between. feeling and rasa when there is a feeling and rasa is there and when the rasa take the feeling then he want to develop more rasa more rasa, more rasa and that way more feeling more feeling more feeling feeling goes to the mahabhav that mahabhava 
you know who is that. And then the mandiris live in the ananda of both bhav and rasa. Ananda. And this mandiri, we are mandiri in our constitutional position. What is more than this in our life? Understand? So simple, but searching for, we are searching for feeling and rasa, to see the rasa and feeling. And we can see it and we can live in the ananda every moment of our life because both are in my front. That's a divine reason. Clear? Agree or not agree? Yes, go on. Read my Yes, yes, yes. yes. Shri Srimad Bhagavad clearly describes how Krishna mm -hmm. bestows prema on all the vines, trees, birds, deer, and waters of Raja. Mm -hmm. But not to any creature from elsewhere. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You cannot see out of this place, if out of Braja, and you can relish this. You will not understand. Because the constitutional position works in Vrindavan by the mercy of Radharani. And she gives the vision to feel it and see it. And then my vision open, every place become Vrindavan to my life. This body stayed Vrindavan in my country, no bother. This is the Vrindavan Mahima. This Japanese, I don't know what the Sukriti they bring in life. I don't know. I surprise sometimes. But they want to, madly they want to come to Vrindavan for one week, ten days, but they want to come. And the whole time they want to give, to learn every second of his life in Vrindavan. Surprising. They come in night 11, sleep 11, and four morning they come to Mangalart. You can imagine. Seven, eight hours flight and they no rest. And morning four, they are in the Mangala Arti.
nemojmo da dozvolimo da budemo građani drugog reda. Ovo je naš... sound of my flute. <laughs> again, again, not it was not read again. I enchant all the inert creatures in Raja mm. with love, with my wonderful form, my dress, and the nectarian sound of my flute. What to speak of the people there? Again. I enchant all the inert creatures in Vraja mm. with love, with my wonderful form, my dress, and the nectarian sound of my flute. What to speak of the people there? I am still here in Varaka, but now I cannot make even my own relatives and the Yadavas attain such a mood. You see, listen again. Listen, read again. I enchant all the inert creatures in Vraja. Inner creature. What? Stone, cloud, tree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They feel me. So, what read from there? What is the inner creature of Braja? Is a tree, wine, animal, bird, stone, and clouds. They are waiting for Krishna's fruit to listen. Beauty of Krishna, they want to see. Read again. Listen nicely. I enchant all the inert creatures in Raja, like vines, trees, birds, clouds, stones, and waters, with love, with my wonderful form, my dress and the nectarian sound of my flute was to speak of the people there. I am still here in Varaka, but now I cannot make even my own relatives and the Yadavas attain such a mood. I am unable to play such funny joking pastimes here. Well, understand. Go on. Elsewhere, there is some reservation in the bestowal of mercy. 
but in Vraja, there is only causeless mercy. Yeah. <laughs> the touch of <laughs> Swaminiji's love has kept Krishna so sweet. The, the point. He touch up Swami. He is so sweet, he cannot go to our opponent. <clears throat> the touch of Swamini's love has kept Krishna so sweet all this time. Although in Vraja, during the ancient manifest pastimes, this could not be grasped, understood. Now that Krishna took her mood, and luster to become Gora, he revealed the greatness of her causeless compassion yeah. to everyone. Understand this? Yeah. I want to make you capable to read and feel it. Yeah, go on. She is by nature the most merciful one. <clears throat> she is the only by nature most merciful. Because that feeling has to enter in our heart. Yeah. Why does Krishna want to be? come to relish the mood of Radhika, increase the more feeling of Radhika, to give more ananda to the manjiris he comes. So, rasa means Krishna want to increase his more feeling, more bhav. You want to go to the highest bhava, mahabhava, more highest feeling you want to have. So what is important, feeling or rasa? Without feeling, there is no rasa. And without feeling, she is by nature the most merciful one. Yeah. In the summertime, when the sun was fiercely shining, Shila Raguna Das was meditating in an open place on the bank all mercy for Swami to shade him with her veil. 
percent making some jokes. Jaguna Das was not aware of anything external. Meanwhile, Shira Sanatana Goswami came to see how Raghunath was doing and seeing what was going on, he disturbed him and said, Raghunath, whom are you meditating upon? Raghunadasa said, on Swaminiji. Sanatana said, are you looking for she who stands behind you mm -hmm. to shade you from the sun? Yeah. Hearing this, Raguna Das had understood what had happened and he began to cry loudly. Do not meditate out in the open. Make yourself a cottage so that our mistress does not have to come and take all this trouble to protect you. Yeah. Sanatana told to Radhima. Srila Raguna has sold himself to Swami his lotus feet. My Swami, I know you. You will introduce your In the company of your Priya. Manashik Shanaim, O Remember the
Radhe Radhe Guru Dev, we cannot hear you. Gurudev, when you can hear us, then can you unmute yourself? We cannot hear anything. I think there is a connection problem with the internet. Okay, then we will wait. Thank you, Didi. Govinda Prem Govinda Yes, I am going to go today. Please. I My don't understand internet, internet is working like a ping pong. <laughs> <laughs> Teaching us. <laughs> like my mind. Yeah. <laughs> ping pong. Okay. It's not a Healthy nature <laughs> to become <laughs> big frog. <laughs> Gurudev, can I say something? Yeah, yeah, sure. I, I have, you sent me once a, a letter uh, by WhatsApp and I print this out and uh, I can. Uh, Say it now what is written here. My dear, we have to always see my identification as Kinkari. Radadasi means ah. what can I do for you? This is so nice. I read this every morning and then my day can start. Yeah, oh, very nice. <laughs> I'm proud of you, my dear. I love you, Gurudev. I love you. You saved my life. <laughs> you are the best, my family. <laughs> yeah, go on. Lift it up. Up to where you will return? Kishori, until where did you hear? My Swamini. 
Was, what's the next? I know you. Acha, okay. I know you. Uh, I want to know you. And I know you. What is good? Mm. I know you. <laughs> Beautiful words. No. Because when I know you, we have a friendly relation with soul to soul to us. Eternal relation, inner relation, <coughs> divine relation, in between you and me. I know you. Because I know myself, so I know you. If I don't see myself, I don't know myself, how I will know you? There. Thank you. Go on. <coughs> My Swami, I know you. Huh? You will introduce yourself to me in the company of your Priyata. Mad Isha Nathave Raja Vipina Chandram Bhaja Manaha. O mind, Mana Shiksha. Remember that the moon of the Vraja forest, Krishna, is the Lord of my queen. Ah, Radhika. my queen, Lord, my Radhika's lover. Mm. So more responsibility of me to care because I love Radhika, so I have to care more to his lover because if I do any mistake, she will ask what, how you love, you say you love me. He's, no, you don't do this. I have to care my Somni love her. In opulence, we say, no, I want to be knowing to God. We yeah, are no, I not, I want to be with you. I want to kill you because you are Somni's lover. So I want to give that love to you, to, that you are very happy. Let's go on. First Radha, then Mohan. Yeah. Come to Vrindavan, you will not see any place, any, any place where Krishna is first, then Radha. First is Radha. Then his lover, Radha's lover, right or not? Mm -hmm. In this, um, I, I know you, uh, Krishna Chandra one time told us that it's not important that how we God can be included in our day-to-day -day life, what is more important mm -hmm. is how can we participate in his stage today? Wow, say this very nice. Say this mic you can take, you, know? you can use this mic, right? So just um, Krishna Chandra 
once said this very nice thing that it's not important that we think, oh, how can I include Radha Krishna in my life? What is important is how can I participate participate in their day-to-day life? Yeah. So it's like changing our perception. That the Thank you. Amara Ishwari Hon Brindavan Ishwari Tara Prana Natha Boli Bhaji Giridari. My mistress is Radha, the queen of Vrindavan, and I worship Giridari. Because I know he is the Lord of her life. This loyalty fills Shiragunata's heart. When this revelation disappears, <coughs> Ravana Dasa cries pitifully, falling on the bank of Radha. Then he suddenly hears the jingling of ankle bells, which suits his pain somewhat. He sees Shimati Rupa Manjari before him. Seeing her, he remembers Swamini. Since she is the Manjari bud of Swamini's Rupa form. A beautiful form, not yet blossoming. A bumblebee will not sit on an unripe flower. Rupa sweetly asks him or her, Tulasi, what is happening? These customs have nothing to do with worldly customs. How sweetly she says, Oh, see, Tulasi, I have come. In his spiritual absorption, Raghunatha gets up and says, O Sakhi Rupa Mantari, I cannot tolerate the burning separation from Swamini anymore. Will I not attain her service at all? Rupa Manjari says, What service will you render? Tulasi, I want to come along with you to bring Swami into that kunja on the bank of Shirada Kunda, which is decorated by Hari. Mohana 
being eager to meet Swamini, sends a girl messenger in the form of his flute playing Murali Duti. And when Prema Mai Radhika hears that sound, she becomes impatient and forgets all other considerations. The sun shines on her head and scorches the sand on the road, spreading itself in the sky like a burning canopy. As she goes out to meet Krishna at noontime, her body is a soft as butter and her feet are as tender as lotus flowers. Hari, Hari, the course of love cannot be stopped. This amorous girl gives up all considerations, desiring to be touched by Mohan. The most excellent, playful Rai is shielded from the nose like looks of her suspicious elders by a whirlwind that throws up a lot of dust. In this way, she went, forgetting all about her home and her husband. O oh, passionate Rai, you have conquered over all obstacles after mastering all of Cupid's mantras. Govinda Dasa says, May Mohana now teach you the tantras of rasa. Ranga Mai Swamini floats on the waves of karma, holding your arm, Rupa Manjari's arm, while I to Leslie, walk anxiously behind her. Mm -hmm. Watching her stumbling gait, afraid that she will trip or fall out, or fall out of eagerness to meet Krishna. And I am ready to hold for them. When Swamini sees a blackish tamala tree on the way, she mistakes it for Mohana. And when she sees a golden vine entwining this tree, She mistakes it for a rival gopi embracing him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you will help her 
out of her illusion. While I will help Swami meet with Mohana in a Kunja house, which he adorns with his own bodily luster. The words Kama Taranga Rangam <coughs> apply to billowing waves of Madhanajasa. The pinnacle of love of God and not to material lust. The tantras say the pure love of the gopis is known as lust because the external activities appear to be the same. Nevertheless, there is a complete absence here of desire for personal sense enjoyment. That is a deep paradoxical secret. Sahaja gopira prema nahe prakrita kama kama krija samye tare pohe kama nama Chaitanya Chavita In this world, it is also noticeable that some activities appear the same externally, but have different targets. For instance, two persons may be picking flowers in a garden. One of them is doing it to gratify his own nose and the other is doing it to worship the Lord. The first person binds himself to this illusory world by striving for sense gratification while the other awakens his dormant love of God by working within the realm of Lord Swarupa Shakti, innate energy named Bhagavat Bhakti. It is well known that the Lord is not captured by mere lust, which is not attended with pure love for him. Seeing that the Lord is controlled to the utmost by the Gopika's lust, it can be easily understood that this lust is the pinnacle of deep love. Therefore, Sri Jiva Goswami writes in Bhakti Sandarpa, this conjugal love is called karma or lust, because it resembles lust. But the mundane Cupid called Smara 
is different from this. Many differences can be seen between the two. Usually, the word karma is used to indicate desire or lust, and priti or prema, the attitude of wanting to please the Lord. Therefore, although the activities of lust and love appear to be the same, the desire to please oneself has been called lust. And the desire to please Sri Krishna has been called pure love. From this, it is easily understood that the lust of the gopis, who are free from desires for personal sense pleasures, is the pinnacle of pure love. Swamini, <coughs> Swamini goes on Abhisar, holding Shirupa Manjari's hand. Waves Abhisar of... means to meet in two persons. Hmm. Swamini goes on Abhisar. Explain the meaning of Abhisar. Mm. Swamini goes for her meeting, holding Shirupa Manjari's <coughs> hand. Ways of lust are manifest in each of her limbs. Her passionate love for Mohana is like a wave which is manifest through the gestures of her eyes, her gait, and her words. It is a strong desire to meet him. But it is all for his pleasure. Anxiously, she asks Rupa Manjari, How long will it take before I can see him again? Tell me, Rupa, how far is it still? Aho! How eagerly he must be sitting there waiting for me. There is a delight in separation, although it brings suffering. Such delight cannot be found in this world. Unless feelings of separation awaken, there can be no awakening of a strong desire to attain the beloved. Therefore, the first target of the aspirant must be love and separation. Unless there is eagerness born from a feeling of want, 
one cannot become qualified to experience anything. The devotee should not forget this when becoming absorbed in the bliss of meditation. A person like me feels no spiritual want at all. I am having fun. My belly is full. Everything is okay. The aspirant will feel ashamed when he realizes the difference between his careless way of life and the activities of the Goswamis. Sriman Mahaprabhu stood behind the Garuda pillar mm -hmm. and viewed Lord Jagannath from there, bathing in his own tears. Shigora Sundara is Radha Bhavadhyaya, enriched by Radha's mood. Seeing himself meeting Krishna at Kurukshetra as a beggar woman. Although Krishna is her all in all, Swamini could not embrace him and hold him to her heart. What pain, what an anguish. Boundless bliss agitates the ocean. Sí, te estamos escuchando. Boundless bliss agitates the ocean of anguish as she thinks to herself, go to Vraja. I want to see you in Vraja. Ragnat Das is the embodiment of Sriman Mahaprabhu's grace. His love and separation is natural. The devotees will greatly benefit by hearing and chanting about the stream of his worship. Sanskrit commentator Banga Bihari Vidya Lankara adds, the name Ayatakshi or wide-eyed girl used for Radhika in this verse is very appropriate. Wide eyes can see far. And Shiradika needs that capacity to save her own life by seeing how far it is still before they come to Krishna. Together with Tulasi and Rupa, Swamini arrives at the gate of the Punja. Hari Vibhusita Keli Kunja. Hari single handedly decorated the trysting place 
where Rupa and Tulasi bring Swami and is waiting there for her. Yeah. Radhika is known as Vasaka Sajika, a girl who decorates the trysting place, waiting for awaiting her hero. But now the situation is reversed. Mohana made a sitting place for her with flowers moistened by his own loving tears. The kunja is adorned by his form, qualities, and craftsmanship. How expert he is in decorating. It is as if he decorates all four sides of the kuncha with his pure love for his priyaji. Thinking, here I will sit with my beloved. This is the expertise of Prema Seva, the mutual service of love. When Swami enters the Kunja with Rupa and Tulasi. She is amazed. First of all, it is the Kunja which delights Cupid. And then it is also decorated by the very hands of the transcendental, youthful Cupid of Vrindavan. Swamini asks, Oh, who decorated this kunja? Hmm. Mohana says, Who knows? <laughs> you understand. Shimati says, you have done it. Nobody else can decorate like this. You have done all this work knowing that I would come. I should have been here with you to help you. Today, she is very munificent. It is Swamini's Hari who steals How affectionately Mohana helps her onto her sitting place. How much love he has in his heart as he sits at her soft feet 
and takes them to his chest. Asking her, how have you come all the way here with these tender feet? The ground of Freja is so hard. He repeatedly looks at Swamini's lotus feet that are grayed by dust. Tulasi understands the mood and brings a golden pitcher with water and a golden bowl. While Tulasi pours out the water, Mohana washes Swamini's feet. and dries them off with his yellow dhoti. Oh. While tears trickle from his eyes. <clears throat> Without the mercy of the Acharyas, this cannot be experienced. By their grace, the divine remembrance of this pastime will awaken within the heart. Yeah. The mind must be absorbed in this subject. How beautiful Mohana is sitting by Swamini's feet. Swamini lifts him up and seats him next to her. How beautiful he looks with these loving tears in his eyes. Holding her cheek on his cheek, Swamini asks him, why do you love me so much? I could not do anything for you. I have so many shortcomings. How many qualified girls are there always waiting for you? How, how you could leave them all for an unfortunate girl like me? Mohana stares at Swamini's face. What he has gotten that he is unaware of. Their bodies are studded with big goose bumps and many sweat drops. And they stare at each other while tears flow from their eyes without interruption. Their limbs are filled with joy 
from each other's touch. Who can experience the waves of love? They embrace each other and stare at each other. While Swamini holds her head on Mohana's left shoulder and keeps her right arm behind his back. Their mouths are adorned with soft and tender smiles that do not seem to end. Rupa and Tulasi stare without blinking at the sweetness of the yuga that we show, that looked like the moon and a blue kuvalaya lotus together. They resemble a golden vine embracing a tamala tree or the lightning Entering a fresh rain cloud. There is no comparison to Radha and Mohana's forms. They resemble a blue lotus flower and the moon in one place. They are both absorbed in Rasika ecstasy and Anantadasa cannot find the limits to this. <coughs> Suddenly, the vision vanishes. It is as if the eyes have become void empty and Shiravana Dasa weeps, prays and laments as follows. O Rupa Manjari <coughs> Devi, you are always immersed in a nectar ocean of devotional service always pleasing Shishirada Mohana. In a loving mood, Kunjeshwari Radha places her vine-like arm in your hand. Radhika's incomparable golden, youthful form astonishes Mohana's heart. When she sees Mohana with her passionate reddish eyes, She's flowing on waves of love with her body, mind, and all the senses. He Shiradu, my Ishwari. You are wearing all the ornaments of your pastimes floating on the waves of rasa, rasa of playful, 
playfulness as I take you on Avisa love journey to the Kunja, which is decorated by Hari. Yeah, 